my dear. Hello. Hello. <laughs> this uh, question I'm asking on behalf of all the women and the teenage girls in the audience who are fans of Captain Jack slash Doctor Who. Yeah, I know there's a few. Um, uh, is there any chance, does anybody know if the BBC is interested in turning Torchwood or Doctor Who into a manga series? No! <laughs> yeah, never say never, but no. no. <laughs> Thank you for asking, though. Yes. Uh, hi. Um, I'm wondering if Tor. Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm wondering. Just pretend if it's me. <laughs> I've been holding my tongue. I thought, no, I can't say that. I can't say that. <laughs> I apologize. Anyway, go ahead. Um, I'm wondering if Torture 3 um, is going to start after the Doctor Who season finale or before, time-wise? Uh, it's going to start after. <laughs> okay, they're all computing that. Yeah, we're all going, did it, did it, did it, did it, did it, you've figured it out. Anyway, yes. Hi. I love Tosh and Owen so much, but I was wondering how the dynamics going to change with whatever new team members you have in season three. If they're uh, old team members, are going to be the medic or the tech team? Or well, you'll just have to wait and see yeah. because uh, you know, <laughs> without Tosh and Owen, um, it, obviously it's only uh, Yanto and uh, Jack and Gwen, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you guys are as sick as I am. <laughs> no, Lisa's gone. Lisa, Lisa, Lisa. Uh, you're getting, listen. I thought that was terrible. I thought Captain Jack was getting jealous of Lisa, man. A little bit, yeah. yeah. You'll have to just watch the series because a lot of dynamics will change. <laughs> That's all I'll say. But, but, um,. Yeah, Jack, now that's a funny thing, because every time we used to, uh, <laughs> joke, that was one of the jokes on set, Gareth, we, we'd we like pop up a picture of me so often, like many episodes after the Lisa episode, he would just, like this, I'd go, who's that over there? Lisa! <laughs> Is there sufficient material, um, you know, on the Pentagon Force this week that could be put into like an extended episode or series of episodes in future DVDs? Do you know, horribly not, because um, our schedule's so tough. I mean, the schedule for, for shooting these episodes is really intense, so we, we have to make sure that the episodes are the right running length. So there's a few deleted scenes that will be on the box set, but beyond that, no, there's, there's not going to be the director's cut, unfortunately. Oh, <laughs> I'm just here to disappoint. I know there's no anger. There's no. There's no the extra scenes. Tosh is dead. Oh. <laughs> she really oh, no. <laughs> yeah, Russell's here somewhere. He's under the table. He can <laughs> I'm, I'm actually a hand puppet right now. <laughs> when the show took a bit of a left turn and I heard rumors that that was um, because they pulled the fans about the characters and it was supposed to be Jack and Gwen and people were like Tosh and Yonto. So I was curious as to after that um, sharp turn in the writing how you feel Tosh and Yonto, this is for Gareth and Malco, but um, how you feel Tosh and Yonto really grew into the series after that, after they got written kind of back in. Um. We didn't do a we didn't do a turn. We didn't, there wasn't no. there wasn't a kind of left turn or a right turn. We just we, it's always about the story. It's really it's really old fashioned making telly. You talk about and you develop and you and you you look for the best possible story. And sometimes that means bringing some of the characters to the foreground. And sometimes they have to sit in the background. That's exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes 
sorry, sorry. I got, I got excited. I'm, I'm not Tosho Yanta. Yeah, I... Did it take a left turn? Like, yeah, no, we never, we never, see, we it never look at it like that because the stories, like Julie said, you, you just, they discuss them, they're put in front of us, and we just play them as stories. <laughs> individual stories. Yeah? Yeah? Gareth, do you agree? Absolutely. Yeah. Next question. <laughs> it was exactly what I was going to say. It was. Good, then. Good. Just smile. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, it's a good question. I just remember the fantasy of being on my knees for Captain Jack. But my question is to Julie. Is George Rick Tardis directly influencing the Rift? Is the Tardis directly influencing the Rift? No. <laughs> no, no, it's not. I mean, it, the TARDIS got refueled at the Rift once in Boomtown, uh, but no, the TARDIS is not connected to the Rift. At least not yet. Stephen Moffat might have a different view. Yes, but you might want to get on your knees for Julie, because she's very powerful. <laughs> hey! Yeah, there you go. Yes. I want to know your reactions the first time you saw the set for Torchwood. Oh. It's amazing on television. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah, and, and uh, an incredible job our designers do, uh, and uh, the painting, the painters, the props people, everybody does an amazing job. I saw the the, <clears throat> the actual hub before it was being, when it was being built, when it was just what we call particle board, you know, sheeting and, and wood. But when I walked into it the first day when it was all finished. Uh, it was, it was, again, the same feeling I got when I walked into the TARDIS because I was that little boy again and I just went, this is my playroom. And in our studio in Cardiff, the TARDIS and the Tortured Hub are next nice. to each other. There's, they're and separated by a curtain. Yeah. Yeah. So we can go from one to the other. <laughs> when I want a little doctor, I go that way. When I want a little doctor, I go that On the subject of uh, John's a puppet, uh, will we ever see the Bachelor Adventures of the Face of Bo? The what? Will we ever see the Bachelor Adventures of the Face of Bo? <laughs> I, I don't know, I think they'd be very interesting. <laughs> yeah. And that is kind of sick. Because <laughs> you're talking about a head in a jar. <laughs> it just, someone carries him around. <laughs> I'm walking my front bow! <laughs> what I'm really intrigued about is... <laughs> I'm really intrigued about how he becomes headless. Yeah. I'll get a theory about that. Yeah, okay. 